Business Excellence Summit 2022. Uh, today we have with us Vishali and welcome Vishali and uh, at the outset I would like to congratulate you uh, for the award that you have just uh, backed. Um, yes, um, how do you feel? I feel? It feels great actually. This is my first award you would say. So yeah, this is nice to be, you know, represented myself and my company on this platform. So it is a nice start, I would say. There is a lot more to come. But yeah, this is the first award that I have got as a Woman Entrepreneur of the Year. So yeah, I'm feeling great. Thank so, you. Okay, so uh, Vrishali, you were saying about the company. So could you just brief us uh, and our audience, uh, you know, on Regatta Consultancy Services so they could just know the company better? Yeah, Regatta Consultancy Services, uh, we are a HR consulting firm. We are providing end-to-end -end HR services. That includes HR consulting, HR outsourcing, uh, talent acquisition, career navigation. There are multiple kind of services. And we are into the business for almost a decade. And uh, next year, we will be celebrating our 10th anniversary, 2023. And uh, we are having Pan India presence. Uh, the clients are at Pan India. Our office is located in Mumbai so today I'm here from Mumbai so yeah so this is very much brief about the majorly we are focusing into SMEs and uh, in career navigation we are focusing in uh, you know in develop I mean uh, the professional who are willing to focus on uh, willing to shift their career or probably the students or the young uh, pass out uh, professional who are looking for the career and uh, they feel like they want to have a career in which which they can grow as well as that interest them you know that is their uh, they fond of the activities and they wanted to do the career into that so our career navigation system that will help them in identifying what their preferences are what their likes are and with visa vis they can choose their career options and they can move ahead instead of landing up it somewhere where you know they after four five years they'll come to know that no no this is not the right career for me so yeah beforehand they can understand this so so yeah, this is about my company. Understood. Understood. Career building is um, it's not an easy job. Um, yes, we need to identify skills uh, to get to know ourselves. Um, what are one of the biggest, what are the challenges um, uh, that you face with regards to entering the market? Um, because uh, there are lots of schools and colleges which are, have already inculcated uh, certain, you know, strategies to build certain skills to help students build careers, to know about themselves, their strengths and weaknesses. So, what are the challenges? Yeah, definitely the competition is there because of the colleges and universities and you know we even have Baijus and white hat juniors and they are also helping you know students but if you understand they are more of a focusing on the gain that a student would get after entering into their university or you know um, taking admission into their colleges but if i don't know what is your observation but the, my observation is when i speak with young students and you know young professionals they are really clueless about what they want to do because at one end they feel that marketing is really you know exciting field at the other end they they feel that no no uh, it is better to you know uh, media is a better field but they really don't know what kind of skills they need to have and do they have or no secondly if they don't have where they where they should go and how they can possess those skills because if you see all the universities are providing certification programs for the executives or they provide pg and mba programs but there is no skill related development programs run by any of the institutions institution our career navigation system is based on psychometric testing we are associated with harrison assessment and they are having a full system uh, system as in computerized system wherein if you give the test you get around six seven reports and each report talks about your abilities your preferences your interests your skills and each qualification has more than 27 plus 
options available to choose and those are academic options those are professional op options and based on that you can choose the university we don't provide you the options of university we provide the area like if you are good in pr or if you are good in some some skills then i would suggest you you are you should pursue your career in pr because you are having these skills you know then you can choose which pr academy or which organization or what kind of certification that way so we work quite uh, i mean like we are working uh, before uh, getting admission to the colleges okay. so one should know where to go in, i mean like people spend lakhs of rupees in taking admissions mm -hmm. and then they are like where am i so yeah before that yeah, should, we like, come into picture you yeah you help people recognize like what's good for them in yes. uh, terms of uh, you know uh, pursuing the uh, yeah, future because, careers yeah because nowadays what happens you know like if with you also it must have happened you feel that you are good in this but when you actually start doing that work you come to know where you are lacking but if you are having a mechanism where you can identify am i really fit to this or no then you would be better prepared for that thing right so this is the approach that we have when we design this system for true truly truly so um, uh, you know due to time constraint um, uh, uh, we just have to proceed on the one question that's very much important like being a woman entrepreneur what it is that you would like to be conveyed uh, to all the uh, you know female folks uh, out there who are just um, you know into pursuing leadership and entrepreneurship yeah see be, uh, being a woman yeah there are challenges uh, be whatever i mean if we say equality and all we have our challenges in india also we have and in overseas also we have but the thing is nowadays if you really want to achieve and if you really want to pursue you have to make your own way you should have your dreams only then you can reach and of course the support is necessary but yeah now the market is so wide and so open and you know you have i mean there is i i don't see that if you really want to work hard towards your dream you can't succeed that is not possible it is, there are a lot of opportunities available for women entrepreneurs or even those who are you know willing to do something of their own so yeah there is a lot of opportunity so yeah it's like easy i mean not easy but yeah you can actually yes, pursue one that. can one can yeah, definitely you know women entrepreneurs um women have taken up uh, you know quite drastically if you have if you compare with the 90s or 80s so um, so looking forward I, i assume that more entrepreneurs will come up you know more women entrepreneurs um, so thank you so much for your time i hope um, you know you enjoyed the yeah, summit and congratulations yes, again congratulations. on this prestigious award and uh, we would uh, wish uh, to you know see you in our next summit yeah, for soon for on this um, yes. yeah and many more success for your venture definitely okay so have a nice day thank, thank you so much thanks thank you for having me